Hello, my name is Amy and I am the Youth Worker and Lead Coordinator for Gobaith Morn. So I'm going to give you a bit of an update as to what has been going on in Gobaith Morn. So first of all, we still have our office space in Hollyhead School, which is a great opportunity to have a presence in that school and be around getting to know the young people and the staff alike. We are continuing on with our PSE lessons that we teach from a Christian worldview and we get in as many Bible verses and Christian stories as we can uh, to represent things that might be going on in their life and just a little bit of our faith and how that impacts our daily life. Uh, we have been working in the nurture room which is a more intentional one-on-one -on -one time with kind of students who may be from challenging um, backgrounds um, but getting to know them and getting to hear their stories and what is going on for them. Um, and last year we did an exploring faith club uh, which we are looking to potentially restart in the future but giving the young people an opportunity to explore a bit more about the Christian faith. We're also going to be doing assemblies in Hollyhead School starting with our Gideon's assembly and we've moved back to face-to-face -face assemblies which is great and we'll be continuing to do that on a regular basis moving forward. And in Amlock and Sir Thomas Jones uh, School, we have been doing our PSC lessons on a regular basis. We've done some assemblies in the school and also this year we're looking to restart a games club, uh, so a lunchtime games club, to so just to get to know people a bit better, to have some with fun with them and to uh, build that relationship and that trust and be able to tell them about the good news and the hope that we have as Christians. And over the school holidays, we've been involved in the Make Lunch that happens on Anglesey. This is an opportunity uh, for families to come. There's some crafts, there's some games, and there's a meal and um, always a bit of a Bible story or a reflection uh, for them to have. Over the summer, there's been sports days, treasure hunts, all sorts. It's been great fun to get to know the local community and to be involved in serving the families on the island. We have a YouTube channel and our social media pages, which are a great opportunity to, once we've got that initial connection with the young people, to be able to go kind of one step further and really explore the Christian worldview um, on our YouTube page. Last year we've been heavily involved in the drama department and school shows, helping facilitate and just be there um, and getting to know some of the young people who are in the play and stuff like that. And also football cage that we have and we use every summer term to be able to just bless the schools, give them something to enjoy. And also last year, um, you might have heard that there's a lot of differences that are coming in in the school curriculum and we were invited to be alongside the kind of discussion panel uh, to think about what it is that goes into the school curriculum moving forward, especially around health and wellbeing and religious education. So we appreciate all of the support that we have, all of the prayers, um, and we really appreciate when people support us uh, financially. And if that is something that you are interested in doing, then visit our donation page and that kind of links to our give.net page. Um, and there's an opportunity to do that there. But if you want to be supporting us in prayer, here are some of the things that we would love to pray for. So continued favour in the schools, uh, secondary schools all over Ernest Morn. Growth in all that we are doing in our church partnerships, in uh, the work that we do, and for protection that, that this work will become what God has called it to be. And if you want to join us, uh, we do have uh, monthly prayer meetings, third Thursday of the month in Capel Kildur and Llangevni. Um, you're more than welcome to come join us if you want to pray alongside us, but we appreciate any prayer. So thank you for listening and supporting the work.